Hey, today is, it's always an exciting day to worship, but I'm going to ask the Kalishian family and the Sam's family, if they would come forward now, uh, to be recognized as new members who have chosen to be part of this body. Um, we recognize that we, we live in a kind of age, I think it was the commentator Oz Guinness who said, we live in an age that we're very conversion prone, but we're very commitment proof. Uh, and so what these individuals are doing today is very countercultural and yet vital uh, to the life of a local church. Uh, and so um, we welcome you that you have found community and are following Jesus with us. Uh, and we're so grateful for uh, the Lord bringing you to that point. Um, and so we're gonna invite you to share, if you'd like, just a couple words about how you found this place to be home. But I wanna also review just what uh, a commitment to be part of the body is comprised of. And the good news is that it, first of all, is a commitment to gospel grace. And if you wanna just put those commitments of covenant partners up, we'll just review those, because it's a good opportunity for us to say, this is how we prosper. So um, we put it in five Gs, gospel grace, that's the first one. Just that um, we need a savior and that Jesus has met that need. Any, the gospel brings us into a family. That secondly, we promise to grow uh, in our relationship with Christ. That's one of the most powerful things we do to be part of the body of Christ. We promise to use our gifts uh, as God leads us to build up the body to be generous with our time and talent and substance because God expands ministry in that way. And then we support uh, the government of the church. And it's kind of like the bark on a tree. You don't, you, you don't feel like the bark needs it, but if you take the bark away, there's no life protected. And so there's a basic structure that we partner together. And I just wanna say, um, Jesus Christ designed the church that it cannot actually go forward unless individuals are prompted by the spirit to make these commitments. Uh, and so I'm going to put to you this in the, in the form of these questions. Uh, I think we have sentences uh, that put these, and I'm going to put them all together and then just ask you one time to say we do. Um, do you believe the gospel of Jesus Christ, salvation by grace alone, through faith alone, placed in Jesus alone, completed by the cross alone? Do you commit to grow in the grace and knowledge of Jesus Christ and to use the means of God's grace to grow in your faith and walk? Do you commit to participate in extending the kingdom of Christ by using the gifts and opportunities you have to support the work of CLC family? And then do you commit to be generous with finances, time, talents as God blesses you with life and breath and health? And finally, will you support the structure of CLC's governance in their work to ensure that we live out biblical community transparently, honestly, and collectively? And if so, answer, I do. And I encourage you, if you've made that commitment before, just to review and ask God that he might renew those. Uh, and then everyone has a personal journey, and I'll start with the Sam's family. I see you are so eager to talk, you know? <laughs> um, yeah. CLC is the answer to an 11 year long prayer to God. A prayer asking for a church that is living and breathing the gospel of Jesus Christ. The immediate connection and warmth our family experienced felt like coming home. Our children express such joy in coming each week, and this also is an answer to our prayers. For our girls to grow in the love and knowledge of Jesus, we look forward to our family growing and serving here and thank God for you. Oh. Praise God. Do you want to share? Why do you like it here? <laughs> we just want to thank everybody for welcoming us as a family. We have a little one. He's back there. He's sleeping. He's only four months old. Um, but we moved here two years ago and we I joined a mom group and they suggested we come here and a few other churches and we visited and Brock goes to school here and we felt like this was home we bought our home down the street two years ago and when we came into this church we said like this is home so we had been a dedicated last weekend and we're happy to be here and we hope that Brock and Bennett grow the way I did personally in the church. Um, so 
and Jeff needs to learn to grow as well. <laughs> All, of All of us together. Praise God. So great. Join me in praying for these individuals. Lord, thank you so much for the gift of an affirmation of individuals who uh, have done what we pray. Uh, we'll walk through these doors and find that this is a family that they have been missing and long to discover and be part of. We pray that you would bring forth only good things for your kingdom, only good things in the lives of everyone in these two families, uh, that it would bear great fruit, and also that each of them would grow more deeply in the knowledge of Jesus Christ. We ask these things, Lord, for all of us. We stand in the same need of a Savior and the same gospel and the same renewal that you provide by being part of this family. And we pray for our health and well-being through the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, God's people said, amen. 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 Praise God. Praise God. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.